A. Preparation. Video will demonstrate different procedures using two types CASP3 ELISA kits. A1. Bring Allegiance to temperature for 20 minutes before use. A2. Check the kit components according to the instruction to ensure the components are complete before use. Component Table RTU Ready to Use ELISA Kit's own equal detecting performance with regular ELISA kits, but more optimized components and simplified operate procedure. Component Table of RTU ELISA Kits A3. Wash Buffer Preparation If crystals are observed in the concentrated wash buffer, you can warm it with 40 degree water bath, no exceed 50 degree, and mix it gently until the crystals have completely been dissolved. Add 30 ml concentrated wash buffer into 720 ml distilled water and mix well. 25 times dilution. B. Sample collection and preparation. Samples should be prepared in advance following sample collection steps specified in the manua. Before use. The sample of Recomendento be centrifuged at 10,000 RPM for 3 to 15 minutes at 4 degree. Then collect the supernatant for detection. C. Diluting standard and sample. C1. Centrifuge the tube to let all standard be at the bottom of tube. Add 1 ml sample dilution buffer. Keep the tube at room temperature for 10 minutes and mix them thoroughly. C2. Label 7 EP tubes from 1st tube to 7th tube. Add 0.3 ml of the sample dilution buffer into each tube. C3. Add 0.3 ml off the above standard solution into first tube and mix them thoroughly. Transfer 0.3 ml from first tube to second tube and mix them thoroughly. Transfer 0.3 ml from second tube to third tube and mix them thoroughly. And so until sixth tube. Seventh tube only contains sample dilution buffer will be used as blank control. C4. 
Dilute the sample at a proper dilution ratio. Pre-test is highly recommended to get your best optimal dilution ratio. D. Sample adding and incubation. D1. Dismantle the acquired strips and fix it on pallet. Put the rest strips together with desiccant into a sealed foil bag. D2. Labeling. Set standard. Sample. Blank well separately and accord them right. It is recommended to measure each standard and sample and duplicate. D3. The sample loading of RTU ELISA kit is the same here. Just load samples directly. D4. Adding standard and sample. Add 100 microliter standard solution or sample solution into the relevant well. Notes. Add the solution at the bottom of each well without touching the sidewall. D5. Incubation. Seal the plate with plate sealer. Notes. Sealer should be sealed tightly to decrease the edge effect and poor CV resulted from evaporation. Incubate for 90 minutes at 37 degree. E. Preparation. Addition and incubation of biotin-labeled antibody working solution. E1. 
Centrifuge the concentrated antibody diluted following instructions of the manual, preparate within one hour before experiment. E2. Washing. Remove the plate sealer and wash the plate twice with wash buffer. Residual wash buffer can be moved by soaking and dumping. E3. Add biotin labeled antibody. Add 100 microliter biotin labeled antibody working solution into each well. Cover with your plate sealer. RTU Elisa Kit RTU Elisa Kit contains a to use antibody working solution which can be added after washing the plate directly. Centrifugation and dilution are not required. E4. Incubation. Incubate for 60 minutes at 37 degree. F. Preparation. Addition and incubation of SABC working solution. F1. Centrifuge the concentrated SABC and dilute it following instructions of the manual. Preparate within 30 minutes before experiment. F2. Washing. Remove the plate sealer. Wash the plate with wash buffer three times and soak for one minute each time. Residual wash buffer can be moved by soaking and dumping. F3. Add SABC. Add 100 microliter SABC working solution into each well.
cover with you plate sealer. RTU Elisa Kit RTU Elisa Kits contains ready-to-use SABC working solution which can be added directly after washing the plate. Centrifugation and dilution are not required. F4. Incubation. Incubate for 30 minutes at 37 degree. G. Staining. G1. Before color reaction, equilibrate TMB substrate for 30 minutes at 37 degree. G2. Washing. Wash the plate with wash buffer 5 times and soak for 1 to 2 minutes each time. Residual wash buffer can be moved by soaking and dumping. G3. Add TMB substrate. Add 90 microliter TMB substrate solution seal the plate with sealer. Incubate for 10 to 20 minutes at 37 degree in dark condition. Notes. The action time can be shortened or extended according to the actual color change, no exceed 30 minutes. You can terminate the reaction when apparent gradient appeared in standard wells. H. Stop and OD measurement. H1. Stop. Add 50 microliter stop solution into each well. The color will turn yellow immediately. Notes. The adding order of stop solution should be as the same as the TMB substrate solution. H2. Read the OD absorbance at 450 nanometers in a microplate per immediately. I. Result calculation. Use recommended data analysis software to draw standard curve. Substitute the sample absorbance value into the equation and calculate the concentration.